Hi everyone, it's me, Rachel, and I'm here to do my Battle Books 18 um, <laughs> reading list, and we'll get started quickly. I only have a short list. I don't expect to get through much of what I intend to read, but I've kind of set it up so that um, there is a book that I've been reading for the past like three months. I don't want to get that done, so that's absolutely on the list. And the one I'm currently reading, I'm hoping to get done tonight. So I don't know if I'm going to start one of the other books tomorrow, since the one that I'm planning on finishing for Bad of Books um, is an audiobook. So we'll see what happens. And I have my phone with me, and I bet you guys are probably wondering why. I've been reading on my phone a lot recently. Um, it's because it's I have it all the time with me anyway, and I have my Kindle, and my Kindle goes with me places too, but for some reason I find this really easy. Um, don't know why. So anyway, um, I have to figure this out. If I Do I turn this down to bright, to dark? Can you see that? Probably not. Anyway, there we go. Alright, so the first book, in case I don't finish it, tonight for whatever reason about 50 pages left but I'll show you anyway because I think this is an excellent look book if you like um, books like by Jim Butcher and is like an urban fantasy I absolutely highly recommend Great Beginnings by R.R. Verity he's first of all the author's funny as heck um, I belong to a writer form where he is on there quite a bit and he's his personality is just absolutely awesome, and it kind of shine, it shines through in his book, in his book in the um, form of the character Vincent Graves. And Vincent Graves, he solves murders, but they're supernatural murders, and he isn't quite alive himself. He floats from body to body to help um, investigate these supernatural murders, and is absolutely fantastic takes place in New York City it that will convince other people to maybe want to read it and I highly 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 recommend it so the next one which I actually forgot to um, I forgot to bring the actual physical book over me this is the one that, that I've been reading for the past three months now it is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb that's probably going to play. Um, Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. I am... This is 39 hours. And I think online it says something a bit different. Let me go in here. Go in here. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have had this all set up, but I didn't intend to do this. Quite like this. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Keep on waiting, waiting. I kind of want to go back then. Oop. I have about 10 more hours left. So that's awesome. I think I could probably pull it off this week. I'm not fully sure, but I will try. Um, the next one is going to be a, another mystery. Well, it wouldn't be another if I finished the one, but whatever. Um, the other one is Cozy Mystery Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder by Joanne Fluke. I haven't read any of her books, and I've been looking forward to reading this for forever. So I'm quite excited. Um, and I, I haven't... I don't think I've read any books by this author, but I'm quite excited. The next one would be Cress by Marissa Meyer. I don't have that on my phone because I am now on the wait list for that particular book. There's only one person that has it right now and there's no one else on the list, so I'll probably get it by the end of the week, which is when I plan to read it. Um, the last one will be Winner's Kiss by... Oh goodness, I'm sorry. You've heard me say this before because I've read the other two books this year, which by the time you see this will be next year. Oh gosh. Hopefully, 
this is still available via this thingy. Yes, okay, cool. Um, Marie Rutowski. Rutkowski? Rutkowski. Rutkowski. Okay. Uh, Marie Rutkowski. Excellent, excellent books, and I'll be looking forward to finishing up that series. As far as reading any other books, I don't think I'll get to them, um, just because of doing other things. I do a lot of things during the week as well, N unlike what I used to do, and well, I think when I do battle books, I kind of unofficially did battle books in the summer, but I wasn't really aware of it, so I didn't really have like a set um, reading list, and I kind of started late, so I didn't really, really get into that. Um, but, this is what I have, and if for whatever reason I read all of them, which I doubt I will, since even Crest is kind of really thick, um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably end up reading Romance. I haven't read one in a little bit. So anyway, um, we'll talk to you probably. It starts the second, I believe. So we'll talk to you the 2nd of January next year. We'll see you then. Bye!